Curious about how RAM affects CPU mining? Well, we're about to find out. Welcome everyone to the Rabbit Mining YouTube channel. If you haven't yet, on the way in, smash that subscribe button, bell notification, and that thumbs up, which is the like button. Now we are going to be looking at the effects of RAM on here, more particularly uh, CL16 RAM. This is 32 gigabytes, so 16 gigabytes each stick. 32 gigabytes of CL16 RAM. And this is your tighter timing CL14 RAM, which is uh, supposed to be better on Monero, but is it worth the power consumption and all that? That's what we're here to find out. So CL14 versus CL16, and what is better, and a price to comparison, because ultimately CL14 is more expensive. So is it actually worth it? That is uh, what we are actually going to find out today. I am going to start with our CL16 RAM. That way I can get this test over and done with with that because it is out of my workstation gaming PC. So ultimately, we have a 3900X that is not mining. We have a 3060 Ti that is not mining. This system is off and I'm focusing on my mic there. So let's kind of get in here. So this system is shut down obviously because there's no RAM in it. We stole it for this test. So I'm going to do that first. That way I can get this thing back up and running. Okay, so I do have our Corsair Vengeance CL16 RAM installed, and I just want to go over exactly what I will be doing over, doing here today. So, you can see 3900X XMP versus Haven RAM test. So XMR, which is random X, and we got Haven on C and Heavy. We're going to go over our hash rates, the power, and our hash to watt ratio based on uh, two sticks with XMP on, XMP off, one stick with XMP on and XMP off for CL16, and the same thing for CL14, and then we'll see what all our number, numbers kind of look like at the end. Again, everything is overclocked to the same thing. I should have wrote that here, but it's not. I'll put it after. But 3.6 uh, gigahertz at 0 0.95 volts. So that's the settings we are going to use for all these tests. Test one is two sticks of CL16 RAM with XMP profile 3200 megahertz on. And our GPU is running uh, just idle, not doing anything. So it's using about 20 watts of power. So we can use that to subtract the power here. Uh, looks like we're running 60 degrees, 60.6. And we are hashing away at 12,757 hashes here. So not too, too bad. Let's take a look at our power consumption. So 143 watts about, so 123 if we take away that 20. So 123 to 144 is what it's saying there. I guess 124, mind all that. So I did write it all down. 12,757 on the hash rate. 123 watts works out to be 103.71 hashes per watt. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on Haven. So the reason I did choose Haven is because CN Heavy is the algorithm for it. And ultimately for the last couple months, it has been the most profitable coin to mine on Monero Ocean and getting paid in XMR. But it is mining Haven, which is the algorithm CN Heavy. It is an ERC-20 token. And ultimately when uh, Ethereum is doing good, then so is Haven on the CN Heavy algorithm. So this is a less power intensive on the CPU and it doesn't use much mega hash. So we're going to see how exactly it does pull off. Okay guys, so the results are in and we're only running 47.5 degrees here. We are hashing away at 1152 hashes and our power consumption is looking like 97 to 98 so subtract 20 off of that and we're sitting at 77 to 78 watts on the cpu here so that works out uh, 1157 is our hash rate on haven 78 watts at 14.83 hashes per watt next up i am going to turn xmp profile off so this is only going to be running at like 2100 megahertz 2300 megahertz somewhere in that zone not the 3200 megahertz Okay, so we're running 58 degrees Celsius, which is still pretty good mining XMR. So again, this stock cooler is just fine when you're running at these uh, lower voltages here, as you see, 0 0.97 and only running at an overclock of 3.6. So what are we hashing at? Because we did turn XMR off. It is 20, 2133 megahertz or something like that. So 11,896 hashes. And as for our power, we are now sitting at 132.8 total watts at the wall so 122 watt or 112 watts actually so let's take a look at our numbers here and we are getting whoa 
There we go. So 11,896 hashes with XMP off. We are at 112 watts. That works out to be 106.21 hashes per watt. So again, losing more mega hash, undervolting, bringing up that efficiency. Efficiency is what matters with mining. Who cares if you can pump out 20,000 hashes if you're only doing like a hash to watt ratio of like 20. So yeah, that's bad. Anyway, <laughs> I just want to point that out. But anyway, so our efficiency is up. So XMP profile off with our CL16 RAM anyway, two sticks is ultimately better to have it off when mining long term and depending on your power price obviously that comes into play as well if you're at two cents per kilowatt hour then moving to 103 won't really matter okay guys so we don't really got to look at the temperature we know this is good on these algorithms so we're going to take a look here 1147 hashes and our power consumption is looking like 90 91 ish yeah 91 so minus 20 is 71 so 71 watts and here we're looking at uh, 1147 at 71 watts is 16.15 hashes per watt so again we went up in efficiency turning off xmp profile on xmr as well as haven so so far it is looking like turning on xmp to boost your ram speeds up is not helping us efficiency wise but uh, anyway, so now we're going to try the exact same thing, but with only one stick of RAM. We are running one single stick of CL16 RAM, and we're hashing at 10,682 with a total power of 124 watts, so ultimately 114 watts. Now we're going to break that down here. So it looks like we're doing 10,682 hashes, 114 watts does work out to be 93.70 hashes per watt on random x so so far this is our worst performance yet and now we're just going to swap over to cn heavy and see exactly what that looks like okay our single stick on cn heavy is oh it just hit 1149 that's not good <laughs> so i did everything based on 1148 so it just went up one more but we're still going to go with 1148 even though it's higher now but and our power consumption here is 89 uh i did that also of 90 so it's a little better than the numbers i am about to show you but anyway it's mostly 90 which does drop down to 70. so as you can see 1148 is actually one hash higher than it was on haven i guess with the pop-up it just went two we are at 70 watts which is less so ultimately one stick around with xmp profile on is ultimately our best bet yet 16.4 hashes per watt on uh, CN Heavy, so that is quite interesting. Now let's check it out with XMP Profile Off. Okay, so I went back in and the last test was actually XMP Profile Off because it was only at 2133 megahertz, but now we are at XMP Profile On, so I swapped the numbers around to the other space, but XMP Profile On with one stick is 12,169 hashes on XMR which is Monero at 138 to 139 watts, which is 118 watts. So we're just gonna have a quick peek here. So you see, I used to did it up here. So I put them to off on our last test. So now I, on the sheet, they are correct. So 12,169 at 118 watts is 103.12 hashes per watt. So ultimately almost the same as XMP profile on with two sticks, slightly less hashes per watt. So not too, too much of a difference, really. So you can get away with like saving a lot of money on buying like a kit and only using one stick in each rig. So that's something you could look out to till you can't afford like maybe two kits or something. But yeah, that was an interesting number. I really like to see there. Now we're just going to check out CN Heavy and see what it looks like. Okay, so it does look like we're pulling 1,162 uh, hashes there. I almost said mega hash, but 1,162 hashes. Our power consumption is sitting in the 97 full system, so 77 watts. And that brings us to 1162 at 77 watts is 15.09 uh, hashes to watt ratio. So ultimately that is the second worst. So not too, too bad. So that sums up our CL16 RAM test. Now we're gonna take a look at our CL14 and see how that does. Also, I can finally get this RAM back into my gaming pc maybe i may as well throw the 3080 in there as well and pull the 3060 ti out 
I don't know. Let me know what you think I should do. We have our CL14 Ramen, and these are both XMP profile on, so running at 3200 megahertz. Now, our hashes are 14,491 hashes at 141 watts, so 121 watts. This is putting us at, whoa, okay, 12,491 hashes at 121 watts is 103.23 hashes per watt now we're gonna check out haven here we are cn heavy which is haven pulling 1161 hashes at 96.7 watts full system so 76 watts and here we are 1160 hashes 76 watts does work out to be 15.26 hashes per watt. Remember, at the end, we are going to see what exactly would be the best RAM and settings to use. XMR with XMP profile off, so 2133 megahertz, and we are at 11,747 hashes, running at 130 total system, so 110 watts. So that is putting us at 11,747 hashes, 110 watts is 106. 0.79 of a hash to watt ratio which isn't too bad at all now we're just going to check out uh, cn heavy again here we are cn heavy xmp profile off and we're doing 1157 hashes at 90 watts so that is 70 watts on our uh, actual cpu there so let's see 1157 but 70 watts is 16.52 hashes per watt ratio which is pretty darn good actually now all that's left now is to try our cl14 ram with only one stick instead of using dual channel two sticks while i wait for this to boot up i do want to point something out every motherboard is different now most motherboards uh you'd always start with your inside to the cpu and ram but this one specifically you actually if you're only using one stick or dual channel you actually start the farthest one away from your cpu so even if you know oh like most motherboards are first one here so you just plug it in you plug it in you could be wrong so no matter what always check your manual just in case you are unsure or ultimately even if you are sure check it anyway because like i said this is one of the few where the if you're using one stick you're the you start farthest away from the cpu and again majority are closest to it and you move out so i just wanted to point that out because some people you know you might get something mixed up you're like oh i always put it in here it's in the first one but if something's not working check your manual and like i said you could run into that problem if you're using this motherboard specifically so cl14 one stick around with xmp on is 10255 hashes at 130 watts so we're sitting 110 watts when we got get rid of our gpu there so 10255 at 110 watts does work out to be 93.22 hash to watt ratio which is ultimately our worst ratio yet when it comes down to it so this cl14 with xmp profile on actually right now is our worst performing yet so interesting stuff uh, about that anyway let's move on to cn heavy and see if it uh replicates this so cl14 one stick with xmp profile on at 3200 megahertz is 1157 hashes at 96 so we're at 76 watts on the cpu and that works out to be 1157 at 76 watts is 15.22 so ultimately this is not the worst we were a little less down up here so yeah, so we are still doing not too, too bad on the efficiency when it does come to CN Heavy. So here is our last test coming up is when we turn off the XMP profile on a single stick of CL14. Then when we're done that, I'm gonna go through each one, figure out which setting was the best one, and I'll just kind of have a sum up of everything we did see. Okay, CL14 RAM, one stick, XMP profile off. So 2133 megahertz is 10,000, or yeah, 10,088 hashes, 122 total systems, so 102 watts brings us to, whoop, so 10,088, 102 watts is 98.9. So it looks like for at least Monero XMR, with this CL14 RAM, you are going to need at least two sticks because the hash to watt ratio is not looking too great. But yeah, let's move on to CN Heavy for our final test and see how it performs. 
Okay guys, our final test here, and this is CL14 RAM one stick XMP profile turned off is 1162 hashes at 90 watts, so that's 70 watts total. So 1162, 70 watts does work out to be 16.6 hash to watt ratio. So that's ultimately our best one yet. So yeah, not bad. So obviously the two algorithms are different. Algorithms also ultimately do matter depending what you do want to mine. So I'm going to do a sum up here, figure out what settings are best to use for which one, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so the final results are in. We're going to sum up everything we did look at, and this did take quite a while, so I hope you guys appreciate kind of the work that went into this. I was actually curious how this actually would play out as well, so it is good numbers based on what I was trying to figure out. So anyway, we're going to look into this and see what actually comes into play. So there's a trend here. So the best thing for a CL16 RAM on XMR was with XMP profile off. And when it comes to Haven, it was again with XMP profile off with a single stick. So it kind of plays out here. And as well, same thing is actually for the CL14. Uh, it comes in XMP profile off uh, for XMR. And a single stick is XMP profile off as well. So for CN Heavy. So ultimately, these are the best settings I have for each type of RAM. Now, ultimately, the best RAM that came into play was the CL14. It did outperform our CL16 RAM, but it wasn't by much. Like, take a look at this. So uh, let's do CN Heavy here. Now, this was the best setting at 16.6 hashes to watt ratio. And we're at 16.4 on a single stick. If you are just wanting to mine CN Heavy directly by itself, you only need the one stick by the looks of things because these were the best hash to watt ratios. Now, when it does come to Monero, you are going to need two sticks. That, that was just the ultimate. And ultimately, CL14 won again, but it wasn't by much. Look at our hash to watt ratio, 106.79. And our XMP uh, profile off here is 106.21 hash per watt. Sure, you have these numbers difference, 11,000 versus 11,748. Those are actually pretty close. This was a little lower, but it was used less power. Now, I don't know if it's because this was 36 gigabytes of RAM and this was only 16 because they are different sticks and whatnot. So, and also in the single sticks, I was 16. Well, this would have been eight, but it doesn't matter. Look at the price difference of the RAM. So this is in Canadian dollars is $150 to get this RAM here. And ultimately it's $223 Canadian to get this uh, RAM here. So if you're building a rig, I would just roll with CL16. You're not losing too, too much. A lot of people like to get the most amount of hashes possible because, you know, that's what counts. Check the benchmarks, who's doing hashes. Ultimately, when you're dealing with crypto mining, unless you got free power, like one or two cents uh, of your power of kilowatt hour per cents or whatever, should matter that you should go with uh, the cheaper, more efficient settings. When you're dealing with something, whether it's GPUs, they should sell it as... Uh, what's your mega hash to watt ratio? Not how many hashes does it do? How many mega hash? How many tera hash? Depending on what you're mining, every algorithm is different, but that should be the numbers you look at is the efficiencies and hash to watt ratio, not how much it performs. Like, sure, we could probably pull out 15,000 to 16,000 hashes on a CL14 RAM, but this number will probably be at like 30 or 25, you know, 25 to 40 probably. And ultimately, you do not want to be pulling that. Who cares if you're getting 15,000 megahertz if you're burning all the power? All your profits is going straight into your power costs. So it's just not worth it. This is the way I look at it and think, uh, okay, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of seeing how RAM does affect your Ryzen CPU when it does come to crypto mining. So cool stuff here uh thanks for watching guys i'll catch you on the next one and rabbit out thanks for watching this video guys if you enjoyed this video please consider watching one of these other videos hitting that subscribe button hitting that like button we do a live stream every sunday and discord link is in the description as well thanks everybody again and rabbit out